many Japanese think of poetry not in terms of sound, but in, t in terms of appearance on a page. Now, a haiku is, is on the whole, a, a, a difficult poetic form. You must do so much in a very short space. You, 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 you cannot waste a single syllable. Uh, and yet, in this very, very tight world of the haiku, uh, Basho was able to express uh, innumerable kinds of um, perceptions of the world, of, of uh, even a very trivial events to which he gives uh, a, a value, makes you feel that there is nothing in life that is really uninteresting. If one looks at it properly, one can draw something, uh, some excitement, uh, um, even enlightenment, from uh, even a very, very short poem. Uh, his most famous poem about the uh, frog jumping into the, the, the pond, Fuyukea, Kawaii Tabukem Homo Mizunoto. It's very, very simple, and, and many people think of it as. <coughs> And just being a momentary observation, and uh, uh, someone who wasn't prepared to accept the haiku, well, might say, "Well, what of it? Who cares if the frog jumps in or not?" <laughs> <coughs> but if one thinks about this poem carefully and realizes that nothing is wasted, you will say, "Why does Basho say Furuike, the old pond? Aren't all ponds old?" Uh, there are, I suppose, some used for irrigation that are not, but normally speaking, all poems are old. But he uses this word to emphasize the eternities of the pond. It will be there forever. Uh, it has been there ever since the, wor the world was created and it will be there until the last moment. Uh, it, and then he, take, he, he takes this pond and into it, he inserts a frog jumping in which is instant. It, it, it may never happen again. It may never happen before. It's one moment when the eternal of the pond is bisected by the vertical movement of the frog, frog jumping into it. Uh, a combination of inf infinite and the momentary. And the, the mizu no otali, the sound of the water, is a our recognition that something has happened. Mm -hmm. the, we can tell this by the sound of the water. Mm -hmm. uh, we can understand that something of importance has happened. happened. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is my own interpretation, and not, not, not all people would agree with it. Some people would insist that it is simply Basha saw something attracted him momentarily, uh, and he felt he'd write a haiku about it. But I don't think that can really be so, because uh, Basho uh, was not uh, likely to use a word like furuike without a special meaning. It, it's, it can't simply be old pond, because that doesn't make any sense. It's, uh, uh, that you're, uh, the pond is not something that changes all the time, it's, mm -hmm. it's there all the time. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, that kind of ability to encapsulate in a very short space a whole world uh, is typical of Basho, and one reason why he can be read many, many times. Each time one finds something different, something new in him. He spent a great deal of time over each poem. Mm -hmm. Today, uh, there are people who can compose a thousand poems in one week. Basho writing uh, a few poems, was able to uh, make them as close to what he really meant to say as possible.